Hi everybody, uh, I'm testing out some software to see how it works with my microphone recording screen and voice and I thought it might be fun to do a little walkthrough video of getting the mystery dot in Atari Adventure. I've seen this video done a couple of times before but uh, there's a couple tricks that I found that might make things easier and this is what I do when I'm waiting for audio to render. Uh, first, uh, I never knew this until recently, but this is actually the way that you grab the sword. I always thought that the point was actually the blade, but it's not. It's the long stick thing there to the right. Um, doesn't hurt you either way in this game, but that's uh, the actual description from Warren Robinette, who designed it. Um, one thing that uh, I don't understand why it works in this particular online version this way instead of uh, the way I've read it works on the cartridges, I leave the gold key in here and as long as that wall is a solid green then I'll be able to get through it when I come back with the dot. Then you put your two objects over here on this side of the wall and then you go and get the dot which is located in the black castle. Now to make this easier uh, you have to play on level three and that is where the bat roams around freely so I have locked him in the white castle uh, along with Rindle the red dragon. I've also killed the other two dragons so that uh, just doesn't get in my way. The, uh, the bat will take the objects and move them around and if you leave them in the wall and he takes them and you have the dot you're probably going to be uh, very challenged getting it to work. So I locked him in the white castle. I also made sure that there were no other objects in the white castle that he might grab and escape the castle before I could get the white key and lock him in. So once you've done all that and you've cleared your path, then the next thing to do is to take the bridge through the Black Castle. And I've left an object in each of the areas so that uh, it's easy to figure out where we are. So you just go in from the main entrance and you go up through this little thing up and to the right. You follow that around. You're still back in the same room. And then you go one room over. And there I've left Grundle's corpse. And you want to put the bridge here and you want to get down into this little area down here. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You actually have to get the bridge down into this area here, right about like that. Uh, you'll still hear the same sound when you grab the dot, so you'll know you have it. It can be a little bit tricky to find. There it is. And you can barely see it there. But you want to just drop it so that you can get the bridge back into place. The other reason to uh, get rid of the bat is so that he does not uh, lock you in a wall. Uh, sometimes he can take the bridge as you're roaming around and you'll be trying to get the dot and he'll just take the bridge and leave you locked in the wall. Uh, you can see here that you have the dot. And you just want to go back to that main wall again. Now, I typically don't like to have the dot underneath of me. I like to have it to the left or the right, because if I need to drop it, it'll be slightly easier to find that way. But you can work around that easily enough. So now the wall's flashing. You got your objects on that side. And you come over here, and the wall is now a light gray. You can't really see it against the background, but you've got the key in there, so you should be able to get through. And there it is, the magic room with Warren Robinette's signature. Uh, this is the first ever Easter egg in a video game. And uh, it's actually pretty cool considering that you can't even send a text message now uh, for the amount of capacity of memory that an Atari cartridge could hold. They were uh, pretty minimal, and it's pretty amazing what they were actually able to do with some of these. So anyway, uh, you can go up here, but you can't really get anywhere. I've not found a way to get through the letter, so I don't know if there's anything on the other side. You can see that you're still carrying the knot, and you can get back out of the room easily enough. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, have fun hunting it down.